Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have shown you the mathematical derivation of the least square feet of a straight line in our n data point in two dimensional plane, right? So we have seen that the expression is y equal to n naught plus a one x, which is popularly known as m x plus c form. Okay, where m is this a one that is slope and a naught is nothing but c that is intercept. And using the concept of partial derivative, we have came up with the particular equation a one equal to n into summation over i equal to one to n x i multiplied by y i. That is, you take all the x coordinate of your data point, multiply with corresponding y coordinates of your data point, and then sum them up and then multiply with n. This is indicating this term. Okay, then. Minus of summation over i equal to one to n x i into summation over i equal to one to n y i. Simple. Take all the x coordinates of your data point, sum them up. Take all the y coordinates of your data point, sum them up, and then multiply those two values. That's all. Then in the denominator, n into summation over i equal to one to n x i square. Take all the x coordinate, square them, then take summation, then multiply by n. This is indicating this term. Minus of summation over i equal to one to n x i whole square. That is, take all the x coordinates of your data point, sum them, and then square them. Okay. So this is our a one value. And a naught value, that is, the intercept is nothing but y bar minus a one x bar. So y bar and x bar are respectively average of or mean of our y coordinates of our whole data set and mean of our x coordinates of our whole data set, right? So this we can implement in MATLAB. Just we need to know how to take the summation and how to square one vector or array because x i summation over i equal to one to n x i square. Okay, so x i is our one array, right? So array operation we need to know and the summation. Just that prerequisite I will discuss. Suppose my array is one, two, three. So if you write sum of a, sum is one inbuilt function which will return me the summation of my array result, which is six. Three plus two plus one is six. And to perform uh, individual square, either you can follow this rule that is a dot power two. It will make element by element square. Okay, if you hit enter, you will be getting one four nine, which is one square is one, two square is four, and three square is nine. All right. Otherwise, one more thing you can follow a dot star a. So as a result, what will happen? Elements of a will be multiplied by elements of a only, but the multiplication will be done element by element, not in the matrix level. Okay. So one will be multiplied with one, two will be multiplied with two, and three will be multiplied with three. As a result, also we'll be getting the same square and the same result one four nine. With the basic concept, we are good to go with our programming. Okay. So let us directly check how we can write the code. Same code will be posted in the description box. No need to worry. Once you know the mathematical part, coding is very simple. CLC clear all codes are warning off, right? If you want, you can ignore the warning off line. This is just to suppress any warning if it appears, but it will not suppress error. Okay? Then some x coordinate data points I am taking and corresponding y coordinates also. Okay? This is our data set. You must uh, have a good attention in this particular part that the length of the x should be equal to length of the y. Then n equal to length of x I am calculating. Then see what I will do. I will first calculate the individual things. That is summation over x i y i. Then summation over x i. Summation over y i. All these things. Okay. So first step is x equal to sum of x. Okay. Because this we are going to use in many places. Here we need that. Here we need that. Right. Is x. Then s y. That is sum of y. Why we require this? See, sum of y is present right here. So we need this. All right. Then. S x two equal to sum of x dot star x. This is nothing but required for this particular expression. That is square all the x coordinates and then take summation. Okay. Then S x y equal to sum x dot star y. Where it is required? See here in this particular part. Summation over i equal to one to an x i y i. That is multiply x and y coordinates element by element then take summation. So for that this term we are taking S x y equal to sum of x dot star y. Then s y two, that is s y square, basically sum of y dot star y. Actually, this is not required for the time being, but let us calculate that if we require uh, in future, we will use that. Okay. Then a one coefficient. Okay. What is the a one coefficient? N into summation over i equal to one to n x i into y i. 
so that I have written n into s x y because that is nothing but s x y is nothing but summation over x into y. Okay, that is x dot star y minus of s x into s y. Why? Because here this is minus of summation over i equal to one to n x i summation over i equal to one to n y i. Right? Then by n into s x two that is this term. Okay? Why? Because you can see here n into summation over i equal to 1 to n xi square. Okay, first take square, then take summation. And sx2 is basically that only. First taking square, then taking summation. Minus of sx whole square. Okay, why this is? For this term. Okay, first take summation over all the x coordinate data points, then take square. Okay, so this is giving us the coefficient of a1. And then for a naught, what we, a naught, what we can do? That is the intercept part. As you know, y bar, that is average or mean of all the y coordinates. So s y, which is basically summation of all the y coordinates by n, which will give us the mean minus of a one into mean of our x coordinate points. That is sum of all the x coordinates by n. Right? Using this, we can easily get a naught and a one coefficient. Then we need to plot one straight line. Right? So what I am doing? I am taking one, uh, basically this straight line will be continuous so that I am taking very small increment in between minimum of x value and maximum of x value that is 0 0.01. This small increment is taken due to uh, the reason that I want to plot the continuous figure. Okay, then f equal to a0 plus a1 star w. That is I am calculating all the y value corresponding to this w. Okay, and then plot w comma f this is our best fit straight line hold on okay because we will plot the original data points also so scatter x comma y that's all so if i run control a evaluate selection i'll be having my plot here it will take some time okay see here we are getting our best fit line okay this uh, circular points scatter plot of our data point and this line is the best fit if you want to get the coefficient write a1 in the comment window this is our basically slope and a0 if you write and click enter minus of 234.2858 is basically our intercept so our expression of the straight line is minus of 234.2857 plus of 19.4702 into x okay y equal to a naught plus a1 x that's all so i hope you have understood the coding part same code will be posted in the description box if you want you can check there thank you for watching